Good morning, buenos dias, bonjour. <laughs> so we are going to, I am going to uh, teach you uh, OBS today. I am, for those who don't know me, although you all almost all know me, I'm Louis. You can call me Louis or Luigi. And I know most of you because I have connected with you uh, this, this space or even during the time when you were seeing their students. So, what are we going, what I'm going to teach you right now, lo que voy a enseñar ahora, es el primer programa, the first uh, program that I'm going to teach is OBS, the second one will be this three, we will learn two things today, okay? So, the, I would like to ask you to download OBS from the, uh, from the internet, you can type obsproject.com or just type OBS Studio. Then down, al final, directly download, y luego click download, and then it will download the OBS Studio. Then install it. We have, we have different types of, of installer. The one for 34-bit, uh, 32-bit, but the rest are for download zip. So better just click the first one. I am not sure if it is available in Mac, if you are using Mac. I am not so sure. But this is available in, on Windows. Okay? So once you have it, Once you have the, the OBS and open it, it will be like this. The screen will be Okay. So, so you have the, you have this, the OBS. Were you able to install it in your computer? Abis put it to instalando in your ordinator. Okay. 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 In case you you were able to install it already or not, and you cannot exercise. Uh, I am I am saying or I'm talking. Just uh, open your mic and then tell me. Eh? Don't wait for me to to ask you. So this is the interface of of what we call this one of OBS. I'm going to share it in your screen so that you can see it directly. Okay. Then we have. So, do you see my screen? Do you see the screen? Only the screen, or do you see me still also in the in the screen? Thomas. Sí. Están viendo el esquema, verdad? Sí, 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 lo veo muy bien. Ahora, now, uh, below, you will see, uh, lo voy a poner así porque está muy grande. Uh, you will see that uh, here on this side, there's only one, only one uh, screen. You can click on the right side, studio mode. And studio mode so that there will be two screen. screen. Mm -hmm. The difference with just one, the difference is if you to use solamente one, you to see solamente one image. The difference is there are two because you can put a picture here, a, the image here. This is the live on the right side. This is the live uh, 
video that is projected to the world, to the internet. While on the left side, this is your preparation. I will, I will try uh, to, to give an example. In order for you to put something in the screen, you just click the plus. And then, let's say, for example, let's use an image. You just click image, create new, and then OK. Then you have to look for your image. You click browse. Where will I find it? It's here. Okay. The long, for example. Okay, so you have that one already, and then you click OK, and then you have it on your left side. You can drag it from the from this one, you can drag it so that it will be in the middle, so you can move it by with your mouse. I am using my my touch screen pen, so you can use your mouse. And as you can see, you only have it on the left. It is not yet projected on the on the internet. It is only in your computer. But once you click transition, it will go to this one, and that will be live already. Well, if you did not click start screen, it will not go live, of course. But the this one will be projected wherever it will be projected. Like it is like for example directly to a computer or directly to a to a screen, etc., or directly to the internet. So that's adding an image. The same thing if you want to add a video, for example, you can also add you can add so many things. You can add audio, a browser, you can add a color source, for example. That color source is uh, just put any color that you want. And then you can you can put for example red and then okay. And it will add a red a red screen on that. It will add a red screen on that with the moon. And then uh, you can send this red screen also on this part. But of course you have to change always the 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 dimensions because it might be uh, outside of the of the screen itself. So if you click transition, it will be transition to this one. So for example, you wanted to put a uh, what do you call this one? A video. I don't know if I have a video. Okay. I think we don't have any videos here. Maybe I have more. But it will be the same process. So you do the same one, and then it will just come here, and then you can just transfer there. So if you don't, if you want this to uh, to be, uh, what do you call this one? Um, he then just click the the I. Then it will become hidden. Then you can send that one, and then nothing will be projected on the screen or in the internet. Okay. So this is how you put sources. Aside from these sources, you can also add text directly. This is if you're going to use OBS as your only program for your streaming, because there are so many other programs that will make your life easier. Uh, in doing streaming rather than using OBS because OBS uh, you're going to do it manually okay and OBS finish yes and no manual so if you're example you want to put a text you put a text you can add for example that one and then okay then you type in the text that you want 
for example let me check that we use So you have, for example, emission RTR10, and then you click OK. You can also change the the text. You can change also with. So that it will enter. Then I will put it here. So it's like that, for example. And then you transfer it, then it will be there. So for example, you have your image, you have your yeah, you have your your color, then So now you you see the difference between the two. On the left is the next slide. On the right, on the right side will be the the or the, the one that is seen by the people. So you click transition, then it will go there. Okay, so uh, that's how you put text, that's how you put uh, videos, and that's how you put uh, media files on here. You can also add another scene because this, for example, you are going to do a you are going to do a uh, a production like or or for let's say let's say program. There's a program part one, part two, part three. So you you just uh, use scene one as part one, and then you can add another one, which is for example scene two, which is part two. Then you have seen so then you have nothing here, then you can add other things again here. You can also connect the, the video itself, for example, video capture device. Let's say hit that one. And then uh, look for the video device that you wanted to use. For example, I'm going to use the HP webcam, which is not functioning well, but I am going to use it. Okay, so you, you can see this one. So uh, then just click OK. So you have now this and same. You can make the the image that we call this one fit in. There's another way to fit into that. You can search directly to that in the in YouTube. But I will not uh, teach it here just for that. We're going to teach only regard uh, how to put this thing because we will not need it in our in our production on Monday. So for example you already have here in the scene two you can send scene two to this and then you can click directly transition. So you have here already for example part two this is part one and then it's already here. If for example you wanted that you to remove this one and then you want the, this one to, to to change to this, and then you click a transition, and it will go to the to this one to the right side. So uh, it's easy. It's just that you have to prepare everything in your in your OBS before before doing the production. Okay. So for example, in the mask, this is the this is your main uh, scene. You can put again another text, for example. Then you can put uh, uh, entrance entrance him. Oh, let's say reading of the gospel reading.
hermanos. transition then it will be there already and if you want to remove for example that gospel reading just click the text and then it will go directly from there and you don't have any more the, the gospel reading text there so that's the simple thing that you do but if for example you already prepared uh, a layover a layout an overlay file from Photoshop using uh, saving it in PNG file. So, for example, I add one because I already have prepared for, for the next for Monday. Let's click image. No, it so. Click image. Add. Then I will look for the image. Uh, it's in the game major superior, it's in the press, it's in the translation files. So for example, I use that on the inauguration. This one. So I have this, okay. Then I have that one already there. So I can put it here anywhere so at the back you have the you have the image or the video if you click it click the transition then it will be shown on the right side it will be shown already in the internet what you have just prepared so if you prepare already a png file uh, with the text gospel reading opening opening him um, the communion right, etc, etc, the parts of the mass or whatever program that you're going to do then you can put it here, add it and then you can also remove it and then transition so that it will be it will be changed when it is done so this is what you see in in television or in productions uh, that they have they have this, no, but this is done manually, this is the way we did uh, during the beatification in Barcelona of our 109, 109 markets. But uh, nowadays, during the, during the pandemic, so many programs came out that will make your life easy in doing all these things. Rather than, rather than just doing this, rather than just uh, uh, doing manually in OBS, you can do it in StreamYard. On Monday, what we're going to do, only one, only one OBS you're going to use. What you're going to do is to click this one. Uh, let's see. Remove first everything. No, I will remove everything so that uh, this one will not be here. Remove. You just right click those things. Yes. And then this one you can also remove. And remove. Right click. You can remove also this one. Right click. Or you can select all with your mouse. Then it is easier. But I don't have the mouse. Okay. Yes. So we don't have anything. So the instructions in the paper that I have sent you in what do you call this one in the instructions that I have given you is that let's go to the word file uh, you have to here you have to copy this one and put this in the OBS 
Okay? If you copy this one, RTMP. I know. And then let's go back to the to the this one to the OBS. You click media source and then click OK. And instead of local file, you remove local file and you put the input in the input base. The RTMP that you have copied from the file. So on Monday, this is what we're going to do. So well, you can start already within this base, this one, and then put in input. Input format, you have to write there. You have to write there. R. I, why is it not allowed? R T M P in in caps lock. Okay, and click OK. Then you already have the media source. You have to wait for uh, some minutes because it will uh, have to fetch the live feed video coming from from Kenya. Or coming from here in Rome. So let's just wait for it to come out. Uh -huh. Now it's there. It's easier, but unfortunately, it's not working for me. But it will work. Okay. okay. So, uh, so now you see on the left side, it's the correct one. On the right side, it is somewhat big, so you just have to take transition. Then it will already fit there. So whatever I change from the from the transmission coming from coming from um, in Charles Luanga from Kenya will come out here. So if, for example, I remove. I will remove already this one. Then it will it will come out as that. So you have it. So you have that already. So that's the one that I am showing in the in the video. So it will it will also come out in your screen. It will also come out in Mexico. And everything will just be will just be the same. The only difference is that once you are in once you are inside the other the other the next program that we're going to learn, then it's from there that you're going to put all the text, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So uh, this is how to to use that of the the uh, OBS. Okay, so I will go. You have any question first with regards to the OBS before I go to the test screen? Tenéis algún alguna pregunta sobre OBS? The microphone butter. Thomas? Está apagado el micrófono. Okay. 
Pero Thomas, you were saying something. Yo no lo oía porque eh, el micrófono está apagado. El, el micro. Okay. Aló, ¿me oyes? Sí, sí, ahora sí. Sí, yo preguntaba. La primera cosa es que con las dos pantallas entiendo que estaremos trabajando y al mismo momento podemos vernos en la, la segunda pantalla que usted ha, ha presentado a la derecha. Ajá. En directo. Eh, 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 ¿El lunes o, o mañana o durante la, durante la celebración? Hablo de la celebración. Si ah, tenemos no. nosotros, si tenemos ah. nosotros nuestro, eso, ¿cómo se llama? Nuestra cámara. Ah, como en la televisión, dices. Sí, ¿cómo es que va, vamos a usarlo? Estaremos solamente viendo las cosas y traduciendo la misa o qué es lo que va a pasar realmente. Vale. Uh, hay, hay, hay dos cosas o tres cosas que se puede hacer. Voy a hablar en español muy bien. Uh, primero, puede, podría ser que solamente la imagen que viene de, de, no, de, de nosotros o viene de, de digamos, viene de, uh, de Kenia y eso sí. es lo que está en la pantalla y en el, en el restream que ahora voy a enseñar tenéis que poner los textos o un, una voz uh, sí. de, de, de la voz solamente sí. es una opción la segunda opción es usando también el restream que ve los traductores Sí. En la misma pantalla, pero un poquito pequeño, por abajo o en donde está, o si quieres en el medio. Tú puedes también estar en el medio, pero bueno, se puede hacer aquel. Entonces, uh, uno está en la, en la parte, uno que está diciendo la traducción y otro, sí. y luego tienes la, la pantalla allí detrás. Vale. Entonces, son dos, dos maneras, uno que no se ve y otro que se ve directamente. Nosotros lo vamos a, lo vamos a transmitir solamente lo, lo del, ¿cómo se llama? Lo del, uh, lo del encuentro, lo de, lo de la misa, el comienzo sí. del, de, del programa, etc. y nada más, porque vamos a, uh, vamos a proyectar, vamos a transmitir el, el audio original. En inglés hay unas traducciones solamente en, eh, por escrito, por imagen principal. Entonces, solamente en francés, en francés, y luego en español, que tendrá traducciones, introducciones, y luego también podéis hacer otras cosas como un programa. Y, sí. y eso depende ahora de vosotros, que, sí. que vais a hacer, qué programa queréis hacer antes de la misa, vais a hablar algo sobre y ya se ve directamente en el canal en francés necesitaré sí. como te he dicho necesitaré que me des luego un acceso a vuestra página de Facebook para compartirlo directamente online el, la, el imagen directamente también directamente como cómo se llama un cross posting del vídeo del live vídeo del misión de Clater a vosotros y, sí. y vos también a nosotros, así para una más gente pueden, pueden verlo. Y vale. luego, así ah, es esa cosa, vale. Y los demás, no sé si lo han entendido, ¿quiere que lo, lo digo en inglés? <risa> se puede, se puede decir en inglés. Vale, I will, uh, he was asking me, Thomas was asking me, if the... The program that we're going to do on Monday is just the image and nothing else. No, I said you can prepare a program uh, before the mass and during the mass itself. It can be that you are seen if there are two, if there are translators, one or two with a camera also, 
you can put yourself down and then you can have the rest of the of the video as a big one and then you have your small video there you are translating everything in french because the mass will not be in english only not only in spanish but it will be in four languages i think in different parts so it will not be just one language for all the parts of the mass so it will be different languages and since thomas knows spanish so if they will start speaking in spanish maybe he can translate from spanish to french so you guys who, who understand english when they speak in english you translate it in french i hope nobody will speak in portuguese and if they speak in french then you just speak in you don't need to translate because it's already in in french no so so that's it so uh, what you can do, you can plan, like what Mexico is going to do, that at least 30 minutes or 15 minutes before the mass itself, uh, you can do a talk show. Using, using already the account that you, that you already have now, I am going to do. So, 15 minutes or 30 minutes before the mass, uh, the opening, you can have a talk show, talk about it. Why do you have, why do we have this celebration? What could be your expectation uh, with this uh, celebration of the uh, meeting, encounter of the major superiors and the general government, etc., etc. You talk about it and then that's it. And once it starts, because you will see immediately in the OBS that you will see that it's already starting, then you can also uh, start to be silent and then you can just start translating the file okay or you can say so okay we are going to start already the mass let us put ourselves in the presence of the Lord blah 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 but in French and then you start translating the the one that you see and after the mass you can also talk about it again and then that is to summarize and then that's the end of the live stream that will be on Monday so that will be the scenario or you can just simply put the video put text nothing else and do nothing <laughs> just translate the text so it's it's up to you it will be it will always depend on your team how are you going to do it in in french so i am going to tomorrow i am going to share already to the whole congregation the link for the spanish and for the french and for the english so you have to prepare already uh, these links for your Facebook and then your your YouTube. Uh, after this, maybe you can already uh, set up or program the live stream in your Facebook and in your in your YouTube. But you're going to do it in the program that I am going to teach you now. Okay. Uh, other 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 questions first with OBS before I proceed with this clip. Yes, Father Martin. Yeah. Yeah, good, good morning. Good morning, Brother Luigi. Good morning. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah, before coming to the question with the OBS, oh. I wanted to know because what you just described is uh, as if we are going to do as I used to see in uh, that television, Catio television. KTO, uh -huh. that before, before the Mass, we can present something that we prepared here, explaining what is about to, to come. And uh -huh. uh, when, the, when the Mass starts, we stop our presentation and we go for the translation. Okay, that's very good. Yeah. Very proud and happy. So after after the after the <laughs> after the translation or during the translation, we can also take our time to explain one or two things uh, before continuing with the translation. So my question is this: after after the mass, after the mass, are we going to continue uh, to present our programs that we prepared here? Or we will continue to, trans, uh, to, 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 to translate 
the assembly, the whole assembly. That is my question before coming to the OBS. Okay, Father, thank you for that for that question. With the idea of a presentation on those things before the mass and then you do the transition, you can go through it. And then after the mass, you can also continue whatever you have planned because the the Facebook and the YouTube account is your YouTube and Facebook account. So it will not affect the the general congregation I I select Planning, including the, the Facebook account of the of the congregation. Although uh, the three languages for there will be four videos that will be simultaneously coming out of our Facebook, and also four videos coming out the, of the YouTube channel in different languages, which people can just can just choose. But once you once you start the restream, you start the restream. Then it will also stop in our in our account. Then it will only remain in your in your YouTube channel and in your Facebook. So I am giving okay. all three, uh, with all yours, three whatever you want to do before and after. So that yeah. You can okay. Start this, of this one and then that's it. Okay. <laughs> So uh, for the OBS, for the OBS presentation, I'm sorry I came late. So and also our connection here is not that good. That is why uh, we did not follow entirely what you were saying, what you were presenting. Because uh, downloading the OBS in our computer, we did not succeed. So we are following through our phones. And now okay. we have to go and download the OBS in our computers before starting following uh, really what you were presenting so i don't know if we have that opportunity again to see uh, uh, sorry sorry I was, somebody was calling <laughs> okay will, will we have that opportunity to uh, to follow you again on that obvious because uh, first of all we came late and also the connection was not paid ideal Okay, Father, no problem because I am currently recording the video of this one. I hope the audio, the audio is being recorded also, but I know that this one I am recording. And even if uh, there's no audio, uh, I will just dub it later on. But I, will, I am going to upload this one into the YouTube channel as a private, private video so that you can see because I am... I have shown the password and then the username, so I have to put it as a private. But I'm going to to put it so that you can see it again. Okay, so no problem if you did not get that one. But as a team, there should be only one who will be using the OBS on that day or tomorrow. So you talk among yourselves who will be the one to manage that the OBS program because the OBS for tomorrow's event and for Monday's event and even for the, this coming days, the OBS will just be a means of getting the signal coming from us. Because you're going to stream it through another program and not through OBS. Because if, if you're going to use the OBS, it is a little bit uh, manual and then it's a live thing, then if something happens, <laughs> it might be, oh no, you cannot go, please, please stop first the match, we have not placed the text, so it will, it will be a mess. So what we're going to, what we're going to do for, for, this, for our purpose, the OBS will just be used to get the signal, and from there you throw it back to the, to the, to the big field that you're going to throw it up there. Right now, which will be more of collaboration. Okay. So no problem. So one, yeah. I have recording this this meeting so that you can go back. Then second, even if you don't, uh, if there's no no project, it is recording. Uh, I can still send other what you call this one 
means wherein you can learn how to do it, scientific means. And then third one, we will be yes. using OBS only for getting the, the image and then going back to the program that you're going to use. So I'm going to teach after this.